Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer. I am so on edge right now. I, I, I'm, I'm, I have my own adrenaline rush. I did, as I record this, Joe Lozon just beat the shit out of Melvin Gillard. So, so <laughs> oh my god. Here's the deal. Um, I know Joe Lozon a, a little bit, right? Like we've talked, we've, we've met. I even fought him in his own personal octagon. I, he took it easy on me. He promised my wife he wouldn't hurt me. But... Um, uh, and, um, anyway, yeah, so, so Joe gets in the ring and, and, and they start like squaring off and, uh, you know, Melvin Gillard is so full of confidence. This guy couldn't be more confident. Maybe even cocky, you might say. The son of a bitch ha has been going back and forth with, with his buddy, Brian Stan, talking about which one of them is going to get knocked out of the night. He promises not only to win, but to win in spectacular fashion. Fuck you, Joe Gillard. And, and he's putting down my boy Joe Lowe's on the entire time talking about, you know, how, how it's this mismatch. Um, the odds makers, the odds makers in Vegas had this thing as, as one as the biggest mismatch of the night. Like, if you look at the odds, I, I want to say 7-2 to two favorite. I'm not even quite sure. But, um... Uh, they had Joe Lozon as the biggest underdog on the night, and um, and, and I knew I knew fucking what Joe Lozon could do was, was <laughs> I mean, he he was being underrated, and and that what you know his his skill set was was Melvin Gillard's um, the kryptonite, right? You know Melvin Gillard. The problem he has is his submission defense. You you catch your hands on this guy and you can beat him. I can't, but a guy like Joe Lozon can, and. Um, and, and, and Joe went in there, and, and and Joe's hands are underrated, by the way. You know, Joe Joe went up against Jens Pulver, former uh, champion of the world, and uh, and what did he do with him? You know, he beat him with this stand up game. He he's beaten a handful of guys with this stand up game, but his his ground game is so good that everyone is acting like it's the only thing he's got. It's not the only thing he's got, and he showed the world tonight. So so anyway, they get in there, they square off, and um and they're like, ah, oh, good leg, right? Joe, Joe Lowe's on. And and the thing about these legs is they get your guys' attention. They they, they start making them one who um. Want to, want to, you know, they're fighting in a different way because all of a sudden they become scared of the leg kick. It discourages them from doing what he wants to do. Melvin Gillard's got a pretty good wrestling game, and the problem with wrestlers is that, um, you know, when, when, when wrestlers are extremely hard to take down. They work on that takedown defense, and they're one of the, some of the hardest people to take down in the entire fight game. So, you know, you get a guy like Joe Lozon who's, who's trying to submit him, whose, you know, win almost depends on this takedown. And the big question was, you know, is Joe Lozon's um, takedowns better than Melvin Gillard's takedown defense? And, uh, <laughs> but what happened? Happened, it, it, what actually happened is Joe Lozon went in there and and he had a uh the hell was that? What do you can't hit that guy? He went in there and, and he had better hands than people knew he was going to have. So so Joe, you know, he catches him with that leg kick, like I said, and then he catches him with the left, puts the left right on his fucking face, and um, and and you know Melvin Gillard, he's shocked, he's rocked, you know, like what the hell's going on here? I didn't expect this guy to be beating me up with his hands, but uh, you know, but this guy is a pro. So so he catches him, he's rocked, and now all of a sudden, you know, Melvin Gillard's only half the fighter he was, you know, headed into the ring because he's been freaking hit in his face and, and he doesn't want any more of that and uh and joe finishes him up and all of a sudden he's on top of the guy and and joe man oh, he, he he like the one thing that that he can do better than other fighters can do is he can like dive into position you know like the, some guys see the kimura when when it's presented right in front of him some guys see an arm bar when it's presented right in front of him uh, what, what joe can do is you know it, it, the, <laughs> the submission doesn't necessarily have to be right in front of him he can dive to position and get that and get what he wants so even though melvin's back wasn't particularly exposed not exposed to like a normal human being joe lozon freaking like you know i don't know teleports over to, to melvin gillard's back i saw the fight that's exactly how it happened he, he teleports to melvin gillard's back and he starts sinking in this rear naked choke if you don't know a rear naked choke is when you put your elbow under the guy's chin and uh and then your forearm and your biceps sort of cut off both of those arteries in, in your neck and uh and it's a blood choke which is actually not very painful you know you can do it to your friends and stuff but um uh, he gets this blood choke on the guy, and uh, and Melvin Gillard's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. And I'm thinking to myself, is he going to get this out? Because you know, rear naked choke is not like a, a a surefire thing, especially you know in the first round like that when guys have you know all their energy to defend it, like like Melvin Gillard did. And Joe Rogan says, and this is what Joe Rogan says, he's going out. And I'm like, oh my god, I think Joe sees something I don't. This is Rogan, not Lozon. And um, Anyway, so, so you know, he says he's going out, and indeed, he starts to go out, and then I see Melvin Gillard tap, and he shocked the fucking world. War Joe Lozon.